Today I want to talk about the fourth change leadership principle that enabled the success of Project Apollo. Principle four, promote the compelling reasons for unity. When a crisis occurs, the instinctive human fight or flight mechanism kicks in and people can tend to act irrationally. This was obvious last year during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic when shopping centre shelves were emptied of all things toilet rolls. In a panic buying spree that defied common sense and even involved physical altercations in grocery store aisles. When the initial shock settles down, people tend to process information a lot more logically. In the NRL, following the season shutdown on March 23rd, we had a genuine and compelling reason for unity amongst all of our stakeholders. As each weekend of the competition rolled on by without NRL matches being played, the game forfeited in excess of $15 million in lost broadcast, sponsor and match day revenues. As each week passed, that's right, another $15 million went up in smoke. This meant that players, club officials and anyone who earned money from the game was required to take a significant pay cut. This crisis was real and very, very painful. Having used the media to build profile around the core purpose of Project Apollo, and that is to restart the competition as soon as possible, our stakeholders saw light at the end of a very, very dark tunnel. Without exception, they all boarded the Project Apollo Express train that was heading towards a season restart as early as possible. In my four decades of involvement in professional rugby league, I've never seen a level of collaboration like that which was afforded to Project Apollo. It proved to be a critical factor in our ability to get back to competition so quickly.